So I wanted to show you how to use the image occlusion app within Anki and be able to type in the answers as well. So this is what it looks like. We have a value here that's been wiped out and we just need to type in the correct value and Anki will tell us whether that's correct or not in green. If we type in the wrong one, Anki will also tell us which parts we got wrong in red. So to do that, we need to get the Anki um, image occlusion add-on. So to do that, we need to browse add-ons on the Anki page. Um, so we're looking for image occlusion and the code should be here. Once you paste that in, it should automatically install that for you. So once we have that, let's create a new card. So what I'll do is I'll go online and I'll search for an image that I like and I'll just copy the, that image and paste it into the program. I'll remove this and that and click hide all and guess one and this will show you that two cards have been added. And now the way that we can add or type in the value is we need to click on cards and then we need to add type remarks into the front template and also the back template. It should be right there. And what this means is that we can actually type in the value that we put into the remarks box. And the remarks box is only shown on the back template, so you won't be able to see it on the front. So once we've added that, what we can do is go back to browse and search for the cards that we've just added. And in this case, I've wiped out nucleus. So I'll type that into remarks. And I've also wiped out vesicle, so I'll type that in as well. Okay, so we should be able to see our new cards. Right here. So that is going to be the nucleus. And Anki tells you that is correct. And if we get it wrong, say I misspell it, Anki will tell us which part we got wrong. And that's how you use image occlusion with the text add in.